day, kid. It's your lucky day because the Bears Eat Bears St. Patrick's Day story is sponsored by me, Green Bear, the official bear of St. Patty's Day. What? No way, Jose! I'm the official bear of St. Patrick's Day! No, you're not! Yes, yes, Ireland is famous for its redheads, and I'm Red Bear! Hey, kid. As you can see, you have wandered into... A situation? Storyteller, tell my little brother that the St. Patrick's Day is mine! <laughs> Storyteller, no, you're correct. My big brother, allegedly. I am your big brother! Red Bear? Yeah. Green Bear? Yeah. St. Patrick's Day belongs to everyone. But it's a little bit more mine, right? You already have St. Valentine's Day! Okay, bear break! <clears throat> yeah. I mean, I gotta start reading before St. Patrick's Day is over. Uh, we'll, we'll see about that. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, let's just get on with the show, shall we? What's really weird is that neither of them are Irish anyway. Uh, okay, let's just go in. It's the Bear and St. Bear, St. Patrick's Day. Uh-oh, we already begin with a bit of a poem. Tis the luck of the bearish, or so we are told, that leads us on to a pot of gold. <gasps> so bearish is Irish. So I wonder if they'll call Ireland Bearland. Let's see. It was in between time in bear country. Oh, and bear country is beautiful, isn't it? The mountains, the big valleys, the trees, the gorgeous tree house. Chirp, chirp. But here we are in that in between time. The time between the end of winter and the beginning of spring. The weather couldn't decide whether to be cold and snowy. <laughs> so cold. Warm and sunny. Ah. Sometimes it was both warm and snowy. Okay, a little confusing, but okay. With spring flowers poking through the patches of snow. Ah, yes, that in-between time can really throw you for a loop. One day the birds are chirping. And then one day, there's a snowstorm. The holidays were in between as well. Valentine's Day was long gone, and Easter had yet to arrive. Woo! Easter is totally mine! Pink Bear, Easter doesn't belong to one bear. No, it's mine! It's mine! Oh, okay. So, Easter had yet to arrive, and about this time, March 17th, to be exact, Grizzly Gramps and Gran came by the Bear family's treehouse. Oh, it's so exciting when the grandparents show up. Brother, sister, and honey were surprised to see Gramps and Gran all in green with bright green top hats. Uh, why are you dressed like that? Asked sister. <gasps> for for St. Patrick's Day, of course, said Gran. What's St. Patrick's Day? Asked brother. Gramps was Shocked, shocked, I tell you. Uh, don't you cubs know you're part bearish? He asked. Well, we know we're bears, sister said, kind of puzzled. Oh, that's not what I mean. And he explained. To be bearish, said Gramps, means that some of our ancestors came from the island of Bearland across the sea. Bearland, known to us humans as Ireland. Bearland is a fair green country called the Emerald Isle. That's why we wear green on St. Patrick's Day. Uh, who's St. Patrick? asked brother. St. Patrick was important in bearish history, said Gramps. He brought goodness and faith to Bearland. There's, there he is right there. There he is. And what's he doing there? Is he chasing a bunch of snakes? There's a story that he drove all the snakes from the country. Snakes were thought to be evil. And there are no snakes there to this day. Oh, said sister, disappointed. She liked snakes. You go, girl. Come along now, said Gran. We're going to the St. Patrick's Day Parade. Everyone in bear country who even feels bearish will be there. We brought along green outfits for everyone. Soon they were all dressed in green. A different look for them. Gramps gave them green clover leaves to wear for good luck. What are these? 
asked Sister. Shamrocks, said Gramps. They're a symbol of Bearland and are said to bring good luck. That's what I said. The luck of the bearish. Nice, said Brother, who didn't mind a little good luck. Neither do we, do we? As they headed for the parade route, the Cubs wondered about St. Patrick's Day. Gramps, said Brother, can you tell us more about Bearland? Oh, of course, said Gramps. We'll start with the legend of the leprechaun. Lepra who? Leprechaun. What's that? It sounds weird. <laughs> and so it is. Leprechauns, Gramps explained as they walked, are magical beings like elves or fairies who live in the woods and vales of Bearland. They are short of stature and given to mischief, not unlike some bears I know. They devote themselves to making shoes. Why do they do that? asked Sister. To pass the time, said Gramps and went on. They use their magic to find gold and hide it in iron pots. Did you see something? Did you do that? Oh, that was magically magical. So we go on. They use their magic to find buried gold and hide it in iron pots. It said there's a leprechaun's pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. If, and that's a big if, if you can find it. Wow, said the cubs, impressed. Bah, said the sheep, impressed. The family reached the parade route down Main Street. Oh, I love a beautiful Main Street. That's where you can find the best candlestick maker and the best baker and the best butcher in Beartown. Papa set up folding chairs and they settled down to wait for the parade to start. It was one of those warm and sunny in-between days. Ah, perfect parade weather. I remember being a little kid sitting out there setting up the chairs with my family waiting for the parade to start. It's so exciting. But there's a bit of a wait, especially if you get there early, to get a really good seat. The cubs relax in their chairs because now we're all waiting for the parade to start, thinking about leprechauns. And they began... <laughs> to doze off. And as they dozed, they began to dream. <gasps> dream sequence! <laughs> Sleepily, the cubs opened their eyes. <sighs> to their surprise, it seemed they were in a green and pleasant land. It looked like, well, it looked like an emerald isle. And they were all alone. It was peaceful and serene. These puffy white clouds billowed over the green hills and a beautiful rainbow appeared. It arced, shimmering down to the hills and beyond. And without thinking, the cubs immediately followed the rainbow. They followed the yellow grass road. Follow the yellow grass road. Follow, 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 follow yellow grass road. Soon, the cubs heard a sound. A tap, tap, tapping, like a little hammer busily at work. Huh. Curiously, they followed it to where the rainbow ended in a ring of boulders. And there, the cubs beheld a little figure dressed all in green, tapping at a shoe. And he turned and saw them. Begora, he said, smiling. Welcome, young'uns. And who might you be? Oh, um, we're sister and brother and honey, said sister. We're bears. Are you now? laughed this little guy right here. Um, tell us, sir, said brother. Are you a real leprechaun? Well, no, he said with a wink. What do you think I am? And what brought you here, my darlings? Did you follow the rainbow? I think we have a real authentic leprechaun. <gasps> yes, we did, admitted brother. And I suppose you're expecting to find a pot of gold, said the leprechaun with a chuckle. I, I, I guess so, said the sister shyly. 
I'm sure you are right, said the leprechaun, stepping aside and revealing a pot of gold glistening in the rainbow. Ah! What? Is it behind me and I'm just not seeing it? Are you throwing gold coins at me? No? Hmm. Okay. And he says, help yourselves. What? This never happens. They're always hiding the gold, not giving it away. This must be a dream. Scarcely able to believe their luck, the cubs dug into the cold and filled their pockets. Wake up, someone was saying. It was Grizzly Gran. You're missing the parade. <laughs> oh, the cubs sat up, rubbing their eyes. The pot of gold and the leprechaun and the emerald isle disappeared. They were sitting in their folding chairs on Main Street in Beartown. But somehow, something seemed different. Huh. Okay. The St. Patrick's Day was getting started. Oh, I could hear the honking of the horns. I could hear the distant drum beat. It was a sight to behold. There were marching bands and bearish dancers. Oh, I love bearish dancing. They, 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 the whole river dancing, they like sit here and then like all the movement is happening like below the waist. That's why you can't see what I'm doing. Yeah, like that, that's bearish dancing. And, and what else? Oh, there were pipers piping and harpers harping. So pretty. Mayor and Mrs. Honeypot drove by in their long lavender limousine. Beartown is fancy, y'all. The Hall Beartown Police and Fire Department came marching along. The parade wound up with a troop of bears dressed as leprechauns, each carrying a pot of gold. Okay, for a minute there I thought, what? Where? I was looking. Are you saying something? Are you not telling me something? Hmm. Very mysterious. As the bear family packed up their things and started for home, the cubs thought back to their vision of the Emerald Isle and the leprechaun's pot of gold. Had it really been just a dream? Then Honey thought, huh, she caught a glimpse of something, a little figure dressed in green, hopping behind a boulder, and she thought she heard a soft chuckle. <laughs> Could it be? Begora, who can tell? And that's the look of the Irish, Abuela Bear. No, 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 today I am Macbuela Ober. But Macbuela Ober, you you're not even Irish. I am storyteller, don't you know? What, Macbuela? On St. Patrick's Day, everybody is a little bit Irish. And that is very true. May the road always rise up to meet you, kid. And happy St. Patrick's Day from Macbuela Oper.